going to be talking about alternative communities online. When I say alternative, I mean that they're different to more well-known communities such as Facebook, Twitter, or even LinkedIn, but are still very useful depending on how you use them. Reddit is an old school bulletin board style platform where users or Redditors share links and ideas for people to comment on and judge with the inbuilt up down vote system. Many topics are divided into subreddits such as R Science, R Ask Academia, R Open Access, or even R AMA Ask Me Anything, where you can post questions for famous people, experts, and even presidents. As with anything online, Reddit hasn't been free from controversy as topics can be started about anything, and I mean anything. But this aside, it's still an interesting space for sharing, discussing issues, and finding new viewpoints. By interacting and engaging in the Reddit community, you accrue karma, which can boost your standing within the community. So check it out and find some interesting subreddits. Everyone knows Wikipedia. We all pretend that we don't use it, but we all do, especially when trying to work out some new terms or information for our studies, or just to look up bizarre facts. In the early days, Wikipedia was almost funny with its errors and rogue information, but over time, a dedicated community of Wikipedia editors has built up, volunteering their knowledge and spare time to ensure Wikipedia is as up to date as possible. The editorial process is open to anyone, which is a great strength, but also a great weakness. Citation needed is a common phrase that people utter when they're sceptical of a far-fetched fact that someone has just presented. This is rooted in the Wikipedia community's self-regulated pressure to provide original source material and references to back up facts and statements in entries. Just like having a bibliography in an assignment, this allows readers to verify concepts and go back to the source of an argument to see what is really going on beyond a writer's interpretation. Wikipedia is a great resource for starting research as you can get key terms, ideas and follow the citations to new original sources. You can also become part of the editing community by applying your knowledge and expertise to help specific information to be accurate. Through Wikimedia, Many projects happen around the world, from dedicated Wikipedian in residence programs to organised hackathons to update Wikipedia en masse on underrepresented topics such as women in science. Wikipedia, much more than that quick place to check that pub quiz fact. Many researchers use code to do a variety of different things such as running models, analysing huge chunks of data, or even building that terrifying AI that's going to take over the world and crush us all. Whatever you're working on, it's often nice to get feedback and share your work with others, especially if you've got that nifty bit of code that you know other people in your field will really benefit from. GitHub is an online publishing service for code with integrated version control, which sits in an overall collaboration platform. What this means is that you can build and publish your code keep track of which version you're working on so you can manage changes and push that code out to other people in the community for feedback and contributions. GitHub is primarily an open source cloud-based space which allows you to host repositories or basically individual projects which you can then use to share with others. If you're just starting out with coding, GitHub also lets you browse other people's projects to get inspiration or pointers. Plus, everything is open source, so you can fork or copy someone's code and start working on it yourself, changing it or building on it for your own needs. If you don't want to fork code, you can also download it directly to your device. All code has other functions with it, such as the issue section, which allows for people to report and fix problems, as well as a ton of other inbuilt collaboration tools, such as pull requests, which will alert collaborators when you've made some changes and want their feedback. You can keep your projects private or share them with the world, giving others the chance to take what you've made and transform it into something new. GitHub's global reach also allows for you to collaborate with people around the world, which is pretty cool. The big thing to remember is that GitHub isn't just for programmers, it's for anyone who's interested in trying to do something 
with a bit of code that is a simple function or a really complicated project. So try it out. Let us know if there are any other alternative communities out there that you enjoy interacting with and see you next time.